This is the fictional Mindbender. Red Dwarf's Arnold J. Rimmer is a character of contradictions. I despise him, and yet sometimes I feel sorry for him. I'm rooting for him, and then other times I'm hoping that he fails. His presence can be annoying, and yet when I think he's dead or gone, I tend to miss him for some reason. Of the four characters of Red Dwarf, Rimmer is one of the primary two that holds up the series. And getting into his outlook is depending on which version of Rimmer that we're talking about because there's more than one. The original Rimmer was an uptight, by the book, low ranking second technician whose only seeming bright spot in his position in life was that he was one rank above his roommate, Lister. His goal was to rise through the ranks and become an officer and to make something of himself. He idolized the quote-unquote great leaders of history, believing he was destined to be among them, and, according to his later hologram, was descended from them, though no one took that seriously. And his characterizes how he saw Lister as well, a man who had no desire to rise through anything except the next beer bottle. He looked down on him and his friends for their slacker lifestyle, and to that end, he is obsessive about the rules and regulations, frequently quoting them and trying his damnedest to pass the exams so he can reach those goals, even at the expense of any sort of social life or successful love life. He was still trying to do so by the time of his death. But even after his death, Hollow Rimmer continues these trends, much to the annoyed dismay of Lister and Cat. His companions saw him as being so cowardly and self-centered that as Lister puts it, you're a gutless, spineless, gormless, directionless, neurotic, underachieving, sniveling, coward pile of smeg. Unquote. It's through this hologram that we get any insight into why Rimmer was so obsessed with this goal and what his outlook was though. Despite his outward projection of narcissism, Rimmer suffered from an extreme inferiority complex. His ego and self-worth were in actuality either fragile or non-existent. He at one point confesses that deep down, he knows that he's nothing, but from his point of view, nothing is up. His parents saw him as a constant disappointment and made sure to remind him of that. And Rimmer craves the approval of others whom he idolizes. So. Rimmer's outlook was, in actuality, extremely dark for a comedy series, and I think it was a miracle that he didn't become suicidal. Rimmer's goal was to prove to everyone and himself that they were all wrong about him and that he was indeed something special, and this explains why he became such a self-centered literal son of a bitch. Putting down others, self-preservation, and ego are all attempts at building himself up from nothing. He's trying to beat out the curse that is his life. More so, through Red Dwarf's crazy adventures, he learns that there are other versions of himself and almost all of them come, come as or start out as the same way. Which brings us to Ace Rimmer. Any fan of Red Dwarf already knows this, but the original Hollow Rimmer again, different versions, hated this perfect incarnation of himself. I mean, look at him. He walks around like he's Tom Cruise in the first Top Gun movie, and acts like it too. He's not only an officer, but on top of that, everyone loves him, even the crew of the Red Dwarf. Ace Rimmer is kind and heroic, gentlemanly and a ladies man, courageous and seems to laugh at the sight of any sign of danger. It's no wonder that Rimmer hated him. It was a physical manifestation of everything he wanted to be and seemingly could not have or at the very least had to struggle to get. However, Ace is important in that he reveals that all of the Rimmers actually started out that way and eventually become Ace. Because Ace actually also has multiple incarnations of himself, every time one version is about to die, that version finds another one of himself to take up the mantle. But if Ace is Rimmer perfected, 
then it also reveals something else about Hollow Woman as well. That how he idolizes what quote unquote perfect Rimmer would look like is not what it actually is. When indulged, Rimmer's fantasies involve cold, condescending leaders sitting above their lessers and commanding them as they will, caring nothing about the troubles of others. But that's not Ace. Ace has all the clout, but retains, or rather gains, the humanity. Moreover, it also explains his relationship to the crew of the Dwarf and especially Lister. That he saw him and Lister as coming from the same cloth, brothers as he later says, with the one real difference being between them that one wanted to be better and the other didn't care to. And his time on Dwarf also shows a change in character, that even though Rimmer is still uptight and sniveling, he grows to see the crew as a band of brothers, having crazy adventures across time and space. And his outlook changes with this as well, seeing his time with his friends as the point to life rather than being rank and file on a three million year old mining ship ran by four people and an AI. There's a lot of digging to do but Rimmer does have one positive attribute that people often tend to miss. And that attribute is that he never gives up. That despite his traumatic upbringing and social alienation and whatnot, Rimmer is always seeking to better himself in one way or another, in some ways that he actually is. So I guess I shouldn't really be annoyed with him myself, but Lister is right about him. So there you are. But if you have any opposite views of Rimmer, please let me know in the comments below. And this is the Fictional Mindbender, and you guys have a good day.